friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's a Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three really, really good recipes for you. We need to get breakfast started because it does need to sit in the fridge for a while but my recipes this week are so good I cannot wait for them all week long. So if you're excited for another meal prep, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. We do meal preps every single Monday. Down in the description box, you will find my two recipe eBooks, lunch and breakfast, both contain 50 recipes, all WW plan points included as well as calories. So get your hands on those. So at the end of my four ebook recipe series, you have 60 WW friendly, calorie friendly recipes at your fingertips. So definitely head on down to the description box and pick those up. Also, you'll find nutrition coaching. I have personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things. And lastly, head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into this amazing WW meal prep. this week we are making overnight cinnamon roll french toast casserole. I've been craving french toast. I wanted to make sure that the recipe I chose was something Troy could eat while I'm out of town. So I again am so excited about this. This isn't overnight or it is a recipe that needs to sit in the fridge for a while. So we're going to get this started first thing this morning, finish the rest of our meal prep and then come back to finish the breakfast. Of course it'll all make sense to you guys in the video but that is my plan. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you're going to need some Texas toast or thick sliced bread, one third less fat cream cheese, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, light butter, eggs. You could use low fat milk or almond milk. I'm going to use almond milk. I have the Lakanto brown sugar, powdered sugar, and granulated sugar. I will make sure I link Lakanto down below with 15% off for you, but I'm going to be using all three of those Lakanto products in this week's breakfast recipe. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and slice up our Texas toast. We need 12 slices total. We're going to cut them into cubes, put them into a greased 9 by 13 baking dish. Just layer them nicely along the bottom. It's 3 a.m. You got me waiting for your love. I'm at the corner of the club. Into a small bowl, I'm going to mix one quarter cup of my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener and one quarter cup of my Lakanto brown sugar. And then about a tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. I'm probably going to do double that because I love cinnamon. And then we're going to mix that together until fully combined. Now we're going to take that cinnamon sugar mixture and put that right on top of the cut bread cubes. Now I'm going to crack six eggs into a medium-sized bowl. I'm going to add two cups of almond milk. Three tablespoons of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener and about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're going to whisk this all together. And this is the egg portion of our French toast. Now we're going to pour the egg mixture over the bread. Make sure you get every single cube of bread soaked in the egg mixture. Don't just pour it right into the middle of the pan. This is what's going to bind everything together in the recipe as we cook it. Now I'm going to cover it tightly with saran wrap and I'm going to put it in the fridge. Ideally, you would want this to sit in the fridge overnight. It's going to sit in the fridge for several hours before I actually put it into the oven today, but ideally, as long as you can keep it in the fridge, 
definitely do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into my refrigerator while we put together the rest of meal prep. Five hours later. We're ready to move on with our breakfast bake. You can see that it's soaked up the majority of the liquid eggs. So I have a quarter cup of the Lakanto monk fruit. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to that. Stir that up and we're just going to sprinkle this right on top. I have six tablespoons of light melted butter. I'm just going to kind of drizzle that right over the top of the casserole. We're going to bake the casserole at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the bread is baked through. It'll be nice and golden brown and you won't see any liquid of the eggs at all. For the frosting, the cream cheese frosting on the French toast casserole, I added a cup of Lakanto powdered sugar, two ounces of room temperature softened one third less fat cream cheese. I also have three tablespoons of room temperature softened light butter. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have some almond milk on standby. We're going to start mixing this and we'll add milk in as needed to get that frosting consistency. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside until we pull the French toast casserole out of the oven. I just pulled out the French toast casserole, you guys. My house smells like a bakery. I love when my house smells like a bakery. This looks incredible. You can see that the bread is nice and brown and that there isn't any egg mixture left in the pan. That's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to let this cool for just a couple of minutes and then we'll drizzle over that glaze. All right, and there is the completed overnight cinnamon roll casserole. My cream cheese, still a little chunky. I don't know what I do wrong, you guys. I keep it at room temperature. Mix it really well. It's okay, it doesn't bother me at all. Do you have any tips on how to not have chunky cream cheese? Let a girl know. So let's go over points and calories. This big pan makes 10 servings, so it's a pretty good size serving. It is six points on the blue and purple plan, seven on green because you do have to count for the eggs, 209 calories. Pair this with your favorite protein and you have such a good savory sweet breakfast. lunch this week. I'm making sweet and sour chicken. I may make some rice. I'm not sure yet. I think for today's meal prep, I'm just going to make the chicken. I am again heading out of town this Wednesday, so I may just eat the chicken. So for that recipe, you're going to need some chicken breasts or chicken tenderloins, about a pound. You're also going to need one egg, no sugar added ketchup, garlic powder, cornstarch, soy sauce, salt, and pepper white vinegar, and then again, I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit granulated sweetener. To a medium sized bowl, I'm going to add half of a cup of cornstarch, about a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. Once that is stirred together to save a step, you can actually add your egg right into that chicken and cornstarch and stir that together. Otherwise, you can dip your chicken individually in the egg, but this just saves a step saves a lot of time, saves the dish. So I'm just going to mix this together until everything is combined. I'm going to spray my skillet with some nonstick cooking spray and then add my chicken and we're going to get this cooking up on the stove top. While the chicken is cooking, we're going to make homemade sweet and sour sauce, which makes me really excited. That way we can control the ingredients, the points, the calories. So to a bowl here, I'm going to add one cup of my monk fruit sweetener, one third of a cup of no sugar added ketchup, half of a cup of white distilled vinegar, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a tablespoon of soy sauce, and then stir that together. And there's our homemade sweet and sour sauce. It smells so delicious. Go ahead and set this aside while the chicken's cooking. The chicken is looking really, really good. Once it's almost all the way cooked through, I'm going to add in about half of my sweet and sour sauce. Stir that together, let it kind of coat that chicken as it finishes cooking, and then we'll add in the remainder of the sweet and sour sauce. Now we're going to add in the rest of our sauce, stir to coat, and sweet and sour chicken is done. Very quick, very simple. Let's go over points and calories. Sweet and sour chicken is done. This looks 
and smells incredible. So it is three points on both the blue and purple plan, five points on the green plan, 244 calories. This entire dish makes only four servings, so it's quite a bit of sweet and sour chicken for the points and calories. Again, you can eat it by itself, pair it with rice, but I can't wait to dig into this all week. For sweet treat this week, I'm making homemade chocolate chip scones. You guys know how much I love scones. I've been craving chocolate chip cookies, so I thought that this was the next best thing. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need vanilla extract, an egg, salt, light butter, cream of tartar, baking powder, baking soda, light sour cream, all-purpose flour, lilies, chocolate chips, monk fruit sweetener or sweetener of your choice and some salt. So the first thing we're going to do for our scones is put together the sour cream, vanilla, and baking soda portion. So I have half of a cup of light sour cream, half of a teaspoon of baking soda. This is a full teaspoon and then about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then stir that together and set it aside. We're now ready to put together the dry ingredients. So I have two cups of flour. I ran out of white flour, so that's a whole wheat flour. It really doesn't matter what you use. Half of a cup of Lakanto monk fruit. Half of a teaspoon of salt. Again, this is one full teaspoon, so I'm doing half of it. One teaspoon of baking powder. One eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And then stir that together. You wanna make sure it is mixed really really well. We're going to add in half of a cup of the light butter. Make sure that your butter is cold. And then we're just going to cut that into the dry ingredients. You want your mixture to be somewhat of a crumbly consistency after you add in that butter. We're going to pop in one full egg and the wet ingredients that we mixed up earlier. Stir together again until you have it completely mixed and a dough has been formed. And lastly, we're stirring in 240 of the Lily's chocolate chips. Mine's a mixture of a couple different brands, but 240 of the low calorie chocolate chips. To a baking sheet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, we're going to make eight scones. So I go ahead and roll my dough into a ball first, and then you can shape it to any shape of scone that you want. You can also use a scone pan. I do not own one, but it may be something that I invest in because I love scones. And then we're going to place those onto the baking sheet. Our scones are going in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're cooked through and they're nice and golden brown. I just pulled the scones out of the oven. My house smells like a bakery, which makes me really happy. These turned out so beautiful and like I said, they smell absolutely incredible. They're really, really good size. They are six points per scone on all plans. I will tell you that a Starbucks scone is over 20 points. So that the, so the fact that these are only six points is amazing. They're only 195 calories a piece versus four to 500 calories. So I, again, cannot wait for these. This is something I can actually take with me on my trip. So I, so again, chocolate chip scones for the win. So go ahead, come and pick me up Bring all your friends so they can watch You're drunk dialing up the phone, so here I am Thank you for joining me for another WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to have these all week leading up to my trip to San Diego. I am going to be giving you guys some video upload information in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so definitely make sure that you check that out. Plus, I have lots of information, news, good and bad to share with you, so check that out this coming up Wednesday. If you enjoyed this meal prep, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and it only takes a second. And if you 
are new or you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below again for the two recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to head on over and join us there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.